Welcome back to What Arty Nibs with General Disturbance. Now, this is not an RT. This is an M8A1. That's the Tier 4 American SPG. And we're located on the north spawn of Mountain Pass. Now, the driver of this vehicle is me. Yeah, another of my replays, I'm afraid, shockingly. Um, and I thought I'd uh, show it to you because uh, this was what I would call a two polo mint or the Americans would call them lifesavers. Uh, I, I choose sweets whilst I'm playing the game and I got through two in this game because it was that enthralling. Whoa! T29 stops for no apparent reason and then I've got this uh, other tank turn up and then the Panzer 1C tries to dart through the middle. Well, wondering what he's up to. Is he going to cut across me? Yes, he is. Oh, <laughs> I wonder what he was up to. Well, we're headed off down the West Pass. I've got some company, so I'm not all alone. But I decide to stop at this particular spot and let them go past me. There's reasoning in my thinking there. I'm a TD. I'm not a. I'm pretty high, so I'm easy to hit and. So I want them to go ahead to spot for me. So see if I can actually get a few shots in on the enemy. I'm looking for cover that I can use. Now that t 28s a little way around the corner. I can't hit him. I'm looking to use that tree. No, I can't. Nope, can't get a shot on him there. As a Panzer 38T there as well. And the T29 just started taking hits. And we got a Valentine. Now, I'm looking to go up the rise. Can I get a shot on that Panzer 38T? I can. I fire. And I hit his tracks. Try again. No, that one went over the side of him. He's very... He's got hasn't got much exposed. Just the top of his turret. And I got a hit there. 69. But he's pulled back. He knows that he's in danger. Right, Valentine. No, he's behind a rock. Can't hit him. Now, we've lost most of my forces. They've all gone. They've all been killed. The Panzer 1C, the T-29, everybody who came down here with me is gone. And that Valentine is now out from behind the rock, but I can't hit him over those rocks. And I don't want to drop down the rise because I know he's going to put a shell into me straight away. There's a mild or two over the other side. So what I'm going to try and do is see if I can kind of side scrape or... Get a shot on him from here. No, there he is. Okay, I do put a round into him. But that tells him where I am. And I think now, if I just pull back a little, I can push forward to fire. Oh, no, he puts a round into me. I lose 48 hit points here. Not good. I'm putting a bit further back now. Doing the same again. No, he's gone behind the rock. But I can just see the side of his tracks. And I'm firing APCR now. To try and get through his uh, hull. And I've tracked him. Unfortunately those shells aren't hitting him. And they're, all they're doing is just keeping him tracked. And I'm burning through all my APCR. That one ricocheted off the rock. And that one hit the rock. So no joy from those shots. He's still full health. And he's probably repaired his track by now. So I'm going to use the wreck. Of the Panzer 1C and the Bush Mechanic to see if I can get shots onto him. No, nope, knock a tree down. Uh, hopefully he'll expose himself. And then I can put a round in. There he is. Okay. Okay, that went into his tracks. And that time I got a hit. I'm firing standard AP now. And I'm aiming for the driver's hatch. But the rounds are going through. And I'm getting solid hits. And that one takes him out. Then the T-82 HMC. What are you doing down here? It's the wrong place for an RT. So, two kills. And I know there's a T-29, I think, around the corner. Nope, he's not around that corner. He's further away. So I don't have to worry about him now. Ah, oh, somebody's capping. Right, now I'm thinking about going to the cap, but then change my mind and think, no, I've got to go for a reset. They're in, they've got two in the cap. If they were to complete the cap, 
it would be very difficult to get back in time to get a reset. That Valentine 2 on the ice road is never going to get to the cap in time. The T29 might, but he's a novice. Uh, he's a tomato player. As you can see, he's got a red T29. There's the Panzer 1C, and he's up on top of the rocks. There he is. Good shot into him there, and second shot takes him out. And there's the Valentine. Now, what are you doing? You should be staying in the cap. Dial him in, round out. Got him. And again, and... And that finishes them off, so no more capping for you, Sunshine. Right, now, where next? With one, sh uh, one tank up, and you can hear a round just came in behind me. I think that was from the enemy RT, who happens to be a Sexton. But uh, I know that there's a, an AMX-40 on the ice road. And I've platooned with the uh, one of the other tanks who have already got four kills. And there's the Amex, the duck. Okay. Now I'm in the right uh, tank for this because I can get shells through his turret. And I take him out. So now 25 hit points off that last one. I'm up to 898 so far. There's the Valentine too. And he fired at the wreck. He might That shell might have actually ricocheted off into me. But that's the one I'm uh, platooned with, the Valentine. He's actually, uh, he is a tomato player, a uh, rating of 1757. But um, it, to get four kills, it took him some doing. So uh, I think you can put that down to a bit of skill and also the tough hull of that Valentine. As we know, I fired all my APCR at it. And the APCR didn't go through, but the standard round did when I fired at the right place. Now... I've got people in chat saying, uh, fork, go back. <laughs> I think they wanted me to cap. Uh, we're on the way. There's the Kehoe. Actually, it was the Kehoe I platooned with, not the Valentine. Now, I need to help him anyway, because uh, there's no way he's going to be able to take on the Sexton. He is a bit of a, a tomato player, so... Uh, I need to ensure that he um, stays alive. So I'm going to have to find the RT and do the biz. Plus, of course, I've already killed one RT. So potential Pascucci is in line for me. And, of course, I've got 81% of my health remaining. Now, the most likely place that Texan is going to be is up here. So I'm going to climb the hill whilst the Kehoe goes into the cap. I expect him to be in that corner. Waiting for me. Yes, there he is. Drive back a bit. There's the gun. I can fire at the gun. Round out. And he fires and misses. So I know I'm cleared now to move in and pick up my top gun. And that's the end of the game. Okay, these are the end of battle results. Surprisingly, even though I picked up four medals, this is only a first class mastery. And I think that's testament to the fact that the M8A1 is actually played by a lot of people. A lot. Because they're on their way to getting the T67 and the Hellcat. Uh, and so you have to play the M8A1. And I think it's also one of those uh, TDs that's actually quite easy to play on the whole. Uh, because it's uh, very fast firing with the 57mm uh, gun. And it's also uh, a fast little mover in terms of getting about the battlefield, as you could see during that battle. Uh, I picked up a Master Gunner um, uh, medal because I scored at least five armor-piercing hits in a row against enemy vehicles. And a Fire for Effect because I did more damage than the hit points of my own vehicle. And a Bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits, so I got six during that battle. I picked up a Pascucci's medal for taking out the T-82 HMC and the Sexton. And because I platooned with the Kehoe, I picked up a Brothers in Arms because we both had more than three kills. In fact, the Kehoe had four and I have uh, six in the end. So we had ten kills between us, two thirds of the enemy team. If only we'd had another platoon mate with two kills, we could have had a crucial contribution instead of the Brothers in Arms. I picked up a high caliber because I dealt the most damage in the battle. And I picked up a top gun with the last kill because I actually had six kills and we can see them there. 
and the win eighth of the battle was 4795. Now, thanks to Salty Jedi's website, we can actually see win eight. So if you want to see the win eight and all the medals that you would actually achieve, because the What Replay site doesn't show you all the medals, but uh, Salty site does. Um, so use Salty site if you want to record everything you did because it's a much better site than the uh, What Replays one. And of course it's fairly select because uh, it, it's uh, mostly those people in the know who are actually using his page to record their battles. So let's have a look at team scores. Well, highest on damage, 1038 hit points. Highest on kills with six. There's my platoon mate in, with four kills. And he picked up the brothers in arms. And high on base XP of 866. Now the Valentine actually managed to get higher score than the uh, Kiho when it came to uh, the uh, base XP. And he managed to pick up a cool head as well because with that Valentine hull he was taking a lot of hits but he still managed to survive in spite of it. Um, now detailed report. I fired 34 rounds. Got seven, 27 direct hits. 17 penetrations. Now the, probably the missing ones there are all the shots that I fired at the Valentine, which didn't go through, but did actually do critical damage to that Valentine. I did uh, 1,038 hit points of damage, so just over the 1,000 to actually get qualify for the high caliber. And I did 130 hit points of that damage at more than 300 meters, which is quite surprising as well. But I think those are the ones on the Western Pass when I was firing at the uh, 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 Panzer 38T and the Valentine. I received two hits, uh, one penetration, one non-penetration. And again, I think those were from the Valentine. And I also blocked damage of 50 hit points. I spotted one enemy vehicle, that would be the Sexton. And I damaged seven of the enemy and killed six of them. And damage done with my assistance was 23 hit points. On a premium count, I earned 21,434 credits. Uh, but after repair to the vehicle and the ammunition, and remember I did use all that APCR on the Valentine, I actually ended up with a deficit of 8,017 credits during that battle, but it was worthwhile in the end result. I received three bonds for the uh, um, the awards I received, the uh, High Caliber, the Top Gun, and the Pascucci's Medal. I received 1,299 experience points and it was times three for the first victory of the day and I had a personal reserves bonus going at the same time so I actually took away 5,196 altogether and the battle lasted about uh, halfway through, well it ended about halfway through. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this replay. Uh, if you did, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel and hopefully it'll be your replay that I'll be featuring in our next video.